Jimmy, Jimmy, yeah. Hi, bye, hate him. I flood the club with paper. Shawty got it. Some for now, some for later. Some. Hello everybody, my name is Panda, welcome to a tutorial. Today is going to be a tutorial on how to make those spinny background thingy my bobbers that are in my intros. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, um, you're just going to want to start off with making a bunch of shape layers. First you want to make the base color of what's going to be in the main background. Just, just going to make it red, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to make it red, and now I'm going to go to this and maybe make it a blue. If you're making like a normal intro, just pick similar colors don't just go all over the place unless you want to make a rainbow intro <laughs> um, I'm just doing this because it'll be I don't know I guess easier I don't know <laughs> um, but yeah let's go throw a little bit of white in there maybe add a bright oop, no a bright pink and some magenta but yeah and I guess I'll add a green and an orange. Perfect. All right. So now, you now you have all these backgrounds. Sorry, sorry about that, guys. Uh, now that you have this background, uh, you have all these backgrounds, and you're like, okay, and now what do I do? Nothing's happening. Yeah, I know you're not an idiot. Um, so what you do is you go to transitions, and you can select grid wipe. You can select. Uh, jaws you can do radial wipe you can do linear wipe it's pretty much you can do anything just as long as it ends up turning out okay like jaws has several different things that you could do with it like you could do robo claw like this you could do block you could do waves let's try waves let's see how this works out get like a shorter wave let's get yeah let's get like some short waves there we go and we'll make the height not we'll make the height like that and we'll just drag it like this so now we're gonna copy this I'm actually gonna click this cop control C and then control V on the next layer mess with this so it's visible a little bit I have my quality down so I can work with it a bit better just keep doing this pretty much keep copy and pasting it on the layers below each of them So, yeah, that's more of a gold color. That's weird. Didn't really recognize that. Uh, get like a purple. And then get like this blue. That looks disgusting, actually. This looks really gross. Let's add another layer. Uh, is, that like a, is that like a dark purple blue color? It's kind of weird. And this is looking this isn't looking as good as I thought it would be well I haven't really done multiple colors before I've just done like a single color and alternating but yeah you could pretty much mess with this do what you want with it all right now I've got pretty much the base of what or pretty much what we want like you could even use the Robo claw or the stuff or you could use CC grid wipe just mess around with stuff until you get like something that looks like this and then you're gonna right click and click adjustment layer. You just wanna have pretty much a bunch of layers that are all visible in like a weird transition kind of way. I don't know, but you'll see nothing's moving obviously. We have to add something to make it move. Now you have to have Sapphire plugins. If you do not have Sapphire plugins, you have to either purchase it or get it a different way. <laughs> so yeah. So we, what we want is S Kaleido polar and we're just gonna drag that put this in the there and look at that oh uh, all right <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it I'm not even joking this is the background like you could even do it like that if you want to which looks gross uh, you could do it lower like maybe to four that looks cool so yeah you this is pretty much how to make the backgrounds I mean this is I'm serious this is like it and you can rotate it so you can have it like click rotate in there go all the way to the end just rotate it like this and just play it and preview it as you can tell look rotation it's this is how you pretty much make my backgrounds so yeah I hope this helped you if it didn't oh well um, if you don't have sapphire plugins sorry about that but yeah this is just a tutorial for people who have sapphire plugins so yeah 
Anyways, I will be making a new intro tutorial at some point soon in the future. So stick around, leave a like if you enjoyed this tutorial or if it helped you. I mean, you can if you want to. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.